So let's have a look at the week ahead from the 20th of August to the 26th. Let's have a look. So the first elements we do have here is the Queen of Shells. What a great day to open up our heart, to really reflect to ourselves what it is from the heart that we want to do. It's okay when we're giving to others, the situation of giving to family, work colleagues, work, family, all these things. But have you noticed you may have been neglecting yourself on a bigger picture? So this is all about giving to yourself that love, that unconditional love and joy and passion that is needed. Also in the week ahead, you will find with the page of feathers that sometimes the nagging feeling of the thoughts that come in from past is nagging you. That you're not good enough or you shouldn't ask for bigger things. Why not? This is your life. And if you're happy, isn't it that everyone else is happy also that truly respect and love you? So do take that on board. All about learning and accepting. Here we have the star. What a perfect combination with the Queen of Cups to realise that to have faith in yourself, to have faith in your dreams and the universe will pay you dividends in the long run. So when we see the star, this is very much about what you're projecting and you're already giving. So how about looking inwards and saying, what is it that I truly desire? What do I have faith in? Can I renew my faith? Can I ask for bigger things? And is the answer not yes? Do you not deserve it? Also with the week of heads, the week ahead, we have the King of Shells. What a perfect time to go with the Queen of Shells. So this is all about the trust. You will begin to trust your vision. You will begin to trust yourself and the universe in actually allowing love to come in. Unconditional love to yourself, opening up, really saying, I deserve the very best. This is my life. I've been through the hard times. This is my time to shine, just like your star. Also, you do have the Queen of Feathers. So this is a great time to cut out any nonsense, see things from a better aspect. When we have the bat, isn't it the silence that comes in, the inner silence of yourself, that bubbling passion within you to see the shining star that brings hope and faith. This is your time to really understand that I can see the vision, I know and I I am going to achieve it if I stop doing what I've done in the past. I am not listening to the negative thoughts within myself. I am really going forward now as a silent assassin of my doubt of myself, the doubt of the future. This is my time to shine. And also this week, you have the page of acorns, a time for the new vision, a time to see that what you plant now, the hope, the dreams, the love is going to shine. It's going to multiply if you allow it. So this week ahead with the king of the shells and the queen of shells and the star, it is time to realise that this is your time. Silently, subtly bring that passion to the surface. Bring the passion up to your heart and let it shine. Enjoy the week ahead.